Neil and safe on Tax TV. Hope we're all well. Uh, been an understatement, but after that performance against Exeter, before I start about that, I just want to uh, pass on my well wishes to Luke Thomas. It turns out that it could be four months, according to what's been said in press and from Michael Duff with his, uh, his break on his leg. Uh, needs an operation on Tuesday. So, well wishes to Luke Thomas. Hope he gets, you know, back on men soon, uh, as with Conor McCarthy as well. Right then, here we go, Exeter City. I did say my, my preview before, is that it'd be interesting to see how Exeter approach this game. And they took game to us, right from first, right, right from off. No manager, but again, they went out to impress, and they took the chances. Two chances, and we did it. That's all it took. What would it? Something like ninety seconds. We hit first minute. We scored first, and we never looked in it. I'm going to go through players. What my thoughts are, like you know, like yeah, if you are saying it. But again, what I'm going to say is, you know, look flat, no shape, no passing, intensity won't be. Miles off at pace, miles off at pace. Looking for certain reactions. And if people like say, oh yeah, Neil, but we still didn't play off some, you know, fifth, sixteenth league still. That don't matter. These are not just my words, these are words from Michael Duffy's son as well. So before people like start saying, Yeah, but we've we're still unbeat, uh, you know, we've had a six game bit. Don't matter. You still got to keep the intensity of here. Yeah, manner at defeat, making a substitution before you know what were it thirty five minutes, trying to change it up to get a spark to get something going. Not via exit the chasters, exit the pushed up. Their medals, you know. Before they like to say, oh yeah, we we're tired and you know, down it. That's seven days off, just like uh, exit have. And then, you know, watering pitch and all that's you know, been watered for both sides. Yeah. Maybe they need longer studs, I don't know. But at the end of the day, we can't be looking for excuses like that. We were, as a team, as a whole, poor. From start to finish, poor. And like I say, I like to know people's comments about it. Because these are not just my words. Michael Love's been on, you know, radio and said more or less the same thing for other media outlets as well. So again, Collins, for me, at times, he still looked a bit unsure coming out, if I'm being honest. Um, whether that's to do with confidence, that having, you know, nasty knock on head injury a couple of weeks ago. Again, I'm not even giving ratings because... I'm struggling to find out, and as for man at a match for Mads Anderson, when that got announced, there must have been at least a dozen people around me in disbelief that Mad Anderson got man at a match. And it were a, it, I don't know, just baffling, baffling that. Williams, again, trying to get for it, but just vulnerable at back. Like I said, I'm not even giving ratings for these. I'm not even giving ratings. Kundi and Anderson at back. I thought Kundi was slightly better than Anderson. Anderson, for some reason, it didn't look like he were in game. He, he looked switched off. I don't know what we're up with him. I really don't know what we're up with him. He just looked a completely different uh, player, lacking in, I don't know, confidence or bewilderment. Kitchen, if there were any positives to take away from this, I thought Kitchen was well, probably player. Well, actually, it showed a bit. I want to say, well, if it's going to be a man at match, I say kitchen, just basically because you were trying with effort and we're trying to get forward, and kitchen being kitchen, squaring up a few times to some opposition. But for me, kitchen more only a slight glimmer. Cadden, coming a lot of expectations as a attacking full back, wing back. 
with good stats and assists, but defensive qualities look so well miles off it. You know, to use a phrase and what was what's been said, it, it defensive quality for getting back in is awareness or oh, mil or oh, million miles away, million miles away. I'm surprised I didn't get subbed off earlier because I think no disrespect to Norwood. I think there could have been a fair few changes being made before half time in substitutes for what one game brought to game. Kane, poor again from Kane. And again, I've, I, I have having expectations with Kane coming back from injury and, it, you know, sent to be having a decent, you know, few games getting in, into it. But as soon as it was coming to him, he was getting shot. One ball, all plus needless balls. Get it and get shot like an hot potato. Retain the retain the ball. Benson again in and out at game. I think passing will way off, and he's not on his own. I'm not just singling Benson out for that. Passing will way off. Aitchison playing in the little Thomas role, which I have expected a bit more. If I'm being honest, from Aitchison in that position. Because he played at Forest Green uh, Rovers last season in that. Cole, huffed and puffed, didn't really get anywhere from it. And Norwood, if I'm being honest, I don't think he... I didn't really know he wouldn't game until he got subbed off. That's my opinion. Yeah. Some of the jokes came on, Phillips came on, and on formation changed a bit. She went to more or less up front with Cole, and Phillips went into midfield, slotted in. Ricky Cadham subbed off in second half. Williams got subbed off at half time. Luke Connell, when he came on, Luke Connell, sorry, when he came on, looked like he was wanting to do summer. And I said to my son and a few people around me, is that he was trying to create that spark you know what you're going to get with Luke O'Connell dropping deep, picking ball up getting on corners Tom Edwards came on made a bit of a difference when he came on and I think in fairness when substitutes did come on I think they had a bit of a fresh impetus on, on game when we were attacking in what like 15 minutes, 20 minutes the second half Exeter didn't know how, how to deal with it. When, when, we, were get, when we were getting forward down uh, wings with Tom Edwards and we're running down into it, we are backing off. We didn't really know what to do. You know, a few shots. So unfortunately, goalkeeper didn't parry. But if he'd have parried it, palmed it out. And that's what Collins would doing for staff. Ball again zipped him, parried it. He should have been holding on to balls like that. And again, confidence. This needs to be a wake up call. It needs to be a shake up, um, similar to Wickham game. We are, uh, and again, egos, it's not a given. Egos need sorting out, and I think players will know that under Duff. And again, they're not just my words, the Michael Duff's words. You know, the Michael Duff's words, these, not, not just mine, just been plucked from midair, but it's what we're all thinking, or we should be thinking. Where do we go from here? People say, yeah, we're going to miss Luke Thomas is out for four months. But Josh Marty, when he came on, he looked quality. He, he was taking it. So we've got... It's not as if we haven't got players in that area to sort it out. Yeah? We've got... Aitchison will complain about role. Forest Green Rovers. We've got Josh Martin will complain about role. If you wanted to, you could go uh, Luke O'Connell. He could go Ebby Kane or Phillips in midfield and then push Benson further forward. All this about we're going to miss Luke Thomas. I kind of agree with it because he were having an impact. But what we're saying the same about when Luke O'Connell picked up an injury. We're going to miss Luke O'Connell. But no, we won the game, so that's all right. So now we've lost the game, we're going to miss Luke Thomas. The squad and the team should be 
I should be dealing with this. Yeah, that, that's what it's all about. We, we know the amount of games are going to be coming up. What I said before, keep going back to it. It's going to be a test where the game's coming up thick and fast. We have got to have the depth to deal with this. Yeah, we've got to have the depth to deal with this. And in midfield, I think we have in midfield, if I'm being honest. Like I said, I'm named, I'm named players here. Yeah, Luke Thomas is out, Matt Wolf's out. But when you've got Luke O'Connell, Herbie Kane, Adam Phillips, Josh Martin, there's players there that can come in. Benson. Recall Akroy Batman. He's gone out on loan. I think he's a month. So, again, we kept saying it time and time again. We need a balanced squad. Up front, goal threat. Tedich on bench. But, to be honest, I think even if you'd have brought Tedich on, the game were gone because we were losing it in midfield. We were losing it in midfield. We were losing it at wing-backs in first half. We're just getting exploited. Cutting in. I mean, their, their, their first goal, straight down uh, left wing. Pulled Nicky, uh, Nicky Cannon out of position. Whipped it in, crossed it in. That was it. And again, it happened again in the second half. Exploited down his left wing back roll, crossed it in. I mean, Jesus Christ. But it, it, when it came in, he managed to stop the ball and hit it. He managed to control it when nobody around him in six yard box. Basic, basic things. I'm hoping this is going to be, you know, a reset button, get your mind back into gear and, and move on because we've got a tricky game away at Bolton. Doncaster Rovers game, again. For me, there's going to be changes in that. We all we always know it's going to be in Pizza Trophy, and we'll come to that and do a, a preview for that later on. But for me, Doncaster game is going to be a change up. You know, Teddy should probably start. Walton will come in. You know, probably start Martin in that and stuff like that. But we, I need to be, or we need to be, as a club. We'll be looking at the Bolton game. Yeah, Bolton lost. And yeah, we're still in a decent position in league. But again, it's not a given. It's not, you know, get that ego and get the the mindset back onto it, as in we need to move on. And we'll probably go to Bolton and play all right and, you know, either come away with a point or a win. And I'm not, you know, getting too carried away, but that's kind of that's kind of thing that will be. Oh, well, needs to be a fortress. And then when you look what what's happened, Wickham. Now, now this it's need to get back to get back to winning ways, and get back to winning ways pretty pretty smartish pretty quick. Again, I'll give you my take on it. I'll give you my thoughts about players. For me, I thought Kitchen slightly edged it. Um, I'd put also in there Luke Connell and Josh Martin when, uh, when they come on. I thought substitutes made a, and especially them two when we came on, made a difference. I thought Tom Edwards looked a bit more solider uh, in right wing back position. Phillips, he seemed to show it up a bit as well. But for me, at a kitchen, Luke Connell and Josh Martin. If there's any slight positive to take away from this, apart from that, another bad day at office. No doubt things will be worked on, things will be said, you know, training pitching in lockers, which needs to be dealt with, which I think Duff will be, and Patterson as well, and the rest of the backroom staff. Like I said, that's my thought, that's my take on what happened. Let me know your thoughts as well. You know, I'd be interested to hear. What your tickers are, you know, what your text on this. For me, manner of defeat, disappointing. A reaction, we didn't see a reaction. I don't think Duff saw a reaction. Egos, they need to be put to one side. We need to be concentrated and not expect games against no disrespect to such as like Exeter and Wickham to be a given. We need to fight, you know, treat every game as 
if it's like a cup final, treat every game as if you're playing, such as like a Sheffield Wednesday or an Ipswich. Yeah, they need to be up being a monster. It were a flat, you know. We're not be. I can't blame, and I'm not blaming fans. I don't like that. But not happening on pitch. How are we as fans supposed to do something when there's not happening on pitch? Frustrations, and again, Duff alluded to that as well. He said, "I can understand that. I can understand why it were flat, because you know we've got to do stuff on pitch for us to get behind them. And these are not just my ways. These are Michael Duff's. And again, shaping, shape a team, passing, intensity." Need to take it via urgency about it. You know, we're miles off at pace. We're mal- we just want at races today. Fair play to Exeter. I won't, I won't say so, really, to be fair, because they didn't really threaten us. We just took the chance of what we did. We we were poor. We weren't, we weren't in the game, end of. So, for my take on it, it was just... Dush and Dan, learn and move on. Again, I'd like to know your thoughts. We need to see what, you know, reaction comments are going to be. And look, we've got to praise where praise due, not a credit, uh, credit where credit's due. But when the player poor, we've also got to have some constructive criticism. We can't call it as a, we're unlucky or, you know, we want we to unlucky one bit. We did, we we were his own worst enemy. We were his downfall. So, well, praise we praise you know credit. But at the end of the day, when we do play poor, you got to say it as it is. You got to say it as it is. There's no point trying to say you know try and you know put a, a you know unlucky and refed. No, we just want it game one, one bit. So it's his own down downfall. That's my sound game. <laughs> um, appreciate you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share that you always do. Uh, thanks for taking your time out as well. Let me know your thoughts about game. You know, your man at match. All about the game. It'd be interesting to read and go through them. I always do. I always reply back as well. I want to say the rest of a good weekend, but. We'll make out what we can. But thanks for watching. One thing left to say, you Reds.